Welcome, everyone, to the ultimate game in the college football season. Everything has built to this, the battle for the national championship and college football immortality, a moment that every young football player grows up dreaming about. And these two teams have survived the expanded playoff grind. They have battled through a regular season, multiple playoff victories, all sorts of challenges and adversity, and they've arrived at this moment to battle for that precious trophy as we'll see the third seed in this playoff, the Texas Tech Red Raiders, taking on a team from the SEC, the Ole Miss Rebels. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Chris Fowler, joined as always by Kirk Herbstreit. And this is it. Two teams enter, one team leaves here as national champions. Let's get this going. The kickoff team is out there, and you can feel the energy. One game to determine the national championship. He's going to return it from near the goal line. And he stopped at the 19. Good job by the coverage team. The Red Raiders offense comes on the field to open this game. And here he comes, the quarterback, all eyes on him. He's the guy that just makes everything go. Well, this guy's Mr. Do-It-All. It's almost odd to say this about a quarterback, but he truly does. He's the echo of the coach and the connector of this offense. When everyone is hooked up to him, this team operates at maximum capacity. And that usually means their opposition is in trouble. It's incomplete. He was hit as he threw. Good pass rush there on first down. They never underestimate a defensive lineman's ability to play the passing lines. Smart defensive lineman, keep an eye on the quarterback, and if they see the ball coming out, they're able to get those big, long arms up and try to get a piece of it. Well, a serious challenge for this offense. You don't want to be in third and long inside your own 20. How much of a risk will they take to try to pick up this first down? Oh, incomplete. He's very lucky that wasn't intercepted here on the opening possession. I'd like to have that one back. It's going to bring up fourth down. Oh, he's got a crease here. Look out. And the returner is tackled by this punt coverage team. The Rebels offense comes out for their first possession today. Well, it's not easy to narrow down the impact players are just a few guys. Kirk, but what do you expect from them today? Well, we got guys that can make plays as well as anybody in the country on both sides of the ball. That's why I think this matchup is so exciting. Two good teams with great individual players. On first down, it's play action. And they'll start off with a deep shot. Oh, and he's got it inside the 15. Tackle made after a big game. The defense is spread all over the field, creating some one-on-one -on -one matchups, and the quarterback makes them pay for it. Trying to find room. It's Ramos. Goes backwards, losing three yards there. Chris, this is what I love to see from the defense. Because the linebackers are scraping, doing their job, but you need help from the secondary. And when you have aggressive tacklers on the back end, you got a great defense. It got him for a sack. A big play made them one of the senior leaders of this defense. They're backed up here, trying to make something happen on third and long. There's the snap. Looking to throw the ball. And the pass is incomplete just across the goal line. So on fourth down, the decision is to try out the field goal team. Hey, it's an incompletion, but it's a nice job by the quarterback. I know it didn't pan out, but the most important thing is he didn't turn the football over and he didn't take a sack. It'll give your kicker a chance to put some points on the board if they opt for the field goal here on fourth down. Texas Tech offense is back out on the field now. Last time was a quick three and out. Can they get a drive going this time? Oh, that one's picked off. He's got some room and some blockers here. Touchdown, Rebels. Wow, what a play, a defensive score. And a pick six, a monster play by this defense here. That defender showed a lot of athletic ability there with the ball in his hands. I wouldn't be surprised if the head coach watching that thought about maybe giving him some reps as a returner after that touchdown. No problem with PAT right down the middle. Kickoff teams come on the field now to send this one away. He'll return it from inside the five. Tough running there. And they've got the returner corral. 
First down play call. How aggressive will it be? Looking out throwing here to start the drive. Grab behind the line. It's Thorne. Brought down for a loss after the completion. Not what they were looking for. First down loss sets up second and long from the 11. This is not how you draw it up as an offensive coordinator. You get a first down play and you go backwards. Now you're behind the sticks and that play just never seemed to have much of a chance at all. So a tricky situation here. Third and very long inside your own 20. How much of a risk do you take? You know this defense could be very aggressive at this moment. And it's intercepted as he threw it into heavy traffic that time. It's third and long, so as an offensive coordinator, you can either play a conservative or trust your quarterback and take a shot downfield. They elect the latter, and it ends up backfiring. And the Ole Miss offense is back out on the field. On the shotgun, it's a handoff. They pick up four, so second down and six coming up. You know, in the RPO game, the quarterback's got to make really sound decisions on that read. Either give it when it's the right time, or you pull it out and make the throw. Here, I think he's kind of in that gray area, decides to hand it off and at least picked up some positive yards. Tackle made, but the sophomore quarterback showing us the arm strength. It's line getting set up. It's a first down play. And he's going to fling it deep, going for it all. Intercepted in the end zone. I'm going to give the defensive coordinator a tip of the cap here. They went with dime coverage with six defensive backs, which gives them a lot more speed on the field. And with those defensive backs, they're able to play better in space. They recognize the ball, step in front of it for a nice interception. On the run, he'll let it go. Pass is incomplete. The defense affecting the quarterback with pressure there. Second down after the incompletion. Boy, this quarterback is living on the edge. Remember, he threw an interception in the last drive. Thought he might learn from that. Instead, he throws the ball right back into coverage. I thought he threw another pick. He better change the way he's playing the game or he's going to cost his team a game. Drops back, looking to throw for it on third down. Grab down the middle. It's Thorn. The defense stops him short of the marker, so it's fourth down coming up. Quarterback had a lot of time to evaluate this defense, and most of his reads downfield appeared to be taken away, so he checks it down to his running back. And how about the way this defense just runs to the football to keep him short of that first down? Great job by the D. And the Red Raiders getting set on first and ten. From the shotgun now, here's an inside give. And this one goes nowhere. Lucky to get back to the line of scrimmage. That was an excellent effort by this defense, just staying in their run fits, holding their own at the line of scrimmage, and then making a tackle. Offense just couldn't get enough of a push to get any yards at all. He's found some room at the 45. Tackle made way downfield. Enormous gain. And they're finally able to catch him, but a huge chunk play with the running game here. Boy, this guy is the complete package. All he needs is a crease, and once he sees it, boy, he is gone. They're very lucky they were able to bring him down on that carry. And he's able to find some room before they finally bring him down. Seventh play of the drive coming up. They'll run it to the right side. Tackle behind the line. It's a loss of two. Well, they get stuffed at the line of scrimmage here. That's going to bring up a third down play for this offense. And, hey, I know it's the first half. But with the way this defense is playing and the fact that they have a nice lead, this is an important third down to try to convert here. So they'll pass up the chip shot field goal attempt and go for it on fourth down. Now run it here. That's the running back with the ball. The Red Raiders look to keep this drive moving. Well, these are the kind of situations you practice every week. You've got to be able to get a yard. And the offensive line was able to give them just enough push to convert here on the ground. Clearly, they've done this drill before countless times, and it shows. Second down after that run on the previous play. That's the wide receiver coming in motion now. They flip it to him on the jet sweep. Will he score here? And he will score. Touchdown, Red Raiders. 
who says he needs explosive plays, Turk. That was a long, grinding scoring drive. And think about this, this is the national championship, and you're able to execute like that against this quality of a defense, and that is a great job by the coordinator and the quarterback being in sync and putting together a heck of a drive. Now the try here for the extra point. And it's up and good. Here's the kickoff team. Let's see if they give the returner an opportunity to bring this back. And he takes this from inside the five. He's got some daylight turning on the speed. Gets some blocks. Can they catch him? Touchdown, Ole Miss. He will score. Wow, kick return for a touchdown in the national championship game. This place has come unhinged. You know, we get so caught up in offense and defense, sometimes people like to overlook the importance of special teams. Here's a great reminder. Big time blocks up front, and the speed of the return man, he takes it all the way to the end zone. PAT. The extra point gives him a 14-7 lead. Now the kickoff team is out on the field. And here's the return from inside the five. And he stopped at the 19. Good job by the coverage team. And the Texas Tech offense trots back out onto the field now. In the last possession, the defense just had no answer for this powerful ground game. Let's see what they can do this time. Ball is incomplete, broken up by the defender nicely that time. Just a great play on the ball by the defensive back, getting a hand on it and tipping it up into the air. Boy, anytime you see a tip go up, often that defense is thinking, interception, this one falls to the ground, but the next tip ball could be going the other way. Well, it's been tough so far to get this drive going. Now they face third and 10 from inside their own 20. What's the call going to be? Looks to the left for a quick throw. Can't hold on. Good defensive play. Brings up a fourth down. And the Red Raiders will have to kick it away. Well, it looked like the quarterback had everything that he needed there. Had great protection. Receiver ran a nice route. Just not able to convert there on that third down. Let's see what their decision is on fourth down coming up. Now they finally get him, but he found a nice lane in that return. This drive starts in good position. And the Rebels offense is back out on the field. This offense trying to bounce back the last possession and then in a pick. Quarterback moving out of the pocket, trying to create. Makes the grab. It's Ramos. We stop him at the 23. This offense is getting close to the red zone. Offense comes up to the line. They might have a chance for a couple more plays before the quarter expires. On first and ten, looking to throw. Receiver makes the catch. Runner scoots out of bounds after gaining decent yards. And Kirk, it's Ole Miss on top. We've reached the end of one in this battle for the national championship. Before moving on, let's check out the stats so far. Well, they've flipped into the field. We're set for the second quarter, and the national championship trophy is in the building. So down here in the red zone, every yard tough to find. Here is a crucial play coming up. Got a lane. Can he get in? And he gets to the end zone. Touchdown, Rebels. So the offense clicking now, Kirk, building the lead, and this one could get out of hand. Well, it's just complete domination. The offense is executing, doing their job, putting points on the board. The defense has shown up prepared, ready to play. It just feels like this game's getting sideways in a hurry. So they'll try to add to the lead now with the PAT. With the extra point, the lead is 14. Getting set to kick the ball off now. Fields it just outside the goal line. Will be tackled at the 18. That's good coverage there. 
And the Red Raiders offense is back out on the field now. This group is coming off a quick three and out. Can they put something together on this drive? That game moves the ball out near the 25. Chris, it's the consistency of this back end has given this defense fits. They've got to come up with some changes up front. This guy's already over 50 yards, and if he keeps running the way he is, not only is he having a great day, but it's going to give this quarterback a chance to hit some big plays downfield off play action. So the offense getting set. This is not where you want to be against this defense. Third and long. Defense able to stop it. It's fourth down now. Chris, it's pretty surreal to get to the national championship in this day and age of college football. When everybody wants to spread you out and throw the football, this offense has been pounding the rock all year long. And here, how about the first half? This back is having a big day. And he picks up the first down before they get him to the ground. The Red Raiders come to the line to start a fresh set of downs. They'll switch it up here, looking to throw. Step into his right now to avoid the pressure. He's going to take off here. Breaking free at midfield. Jukes to get past the man. Tackle made, but it's a huge gain all the way to the 33-yard line. Well, here's a quarterback that just takes control for himself. Picking up some nice yards. Nothing else is there. This guy's a real threat. On the ground, it's Thorne. You know, in an era that we live in right now, everybody wants to spread the field around, try to create space, try to create one-on-one -on -one matchups, and the defense is countered over the years by trying to play out wide. But here's a great example of a defense. Has the ability to play wide, but still be solid at the line of scrimmage and not give up big run plays. That's the third pick tonight thrown by this QB. They bring him down after a short return, but the takeaway at the 26-yard line is huge. Oh, Chris, against zone coverage like that and the ball thrown deep down the middle of the field, you've got to layer that throw in. Very challenging throw, requires a nice touch with a strong arm, and the quarterback that time just did not make the throw. So the offense with the first and ten now, the football placed exactly at midfield. And the quarterback looking to make a play through the air. Oh, a sack, the senior on this defense making a big play. The offensive line will have to regroup after the sack. It's second and 13. Off the play fake, he'll look to throw it. Quarterback heading right, trying to create on the move. And the pass is dropped incomplete. Would have had a huge gain. Took his eye off the ball. They come to the line. A long way to go for the first down, but needing this crucial conversion right now. Caught behind the line. It's Ramos. Well, obviously, you're going to throw the football on third down. But man, they complete that pass and lose yardage to set up this big fourth down. No fair catch. Looking to make a return here. And the returner will be brought down. And the Texas Tech offense is back out on the field now. They had some good things going on the last drive, but it ended suddenly with the pick. Let's see what they can do here. Picks up three yards, so second and seven. Nice solid run here by this back. Did a nice job of just kind of finding that lane, pick up some positive yards there on first and ten. Tight end goes in motion before the snap. Sticking with the running game. Minimal gain brought down short of the marker. Third down after that running play. Can he get there on the ground? Take it down, but not before he makes the first down. Well, it's a great job here by this offensive line and the running back to be able to pick up the first down. Let's face it, they've dug themselves a hole here in this first half. The only way they can get back into this game is converting on... And he's intercepted for the fourth time tonight. And the ball to the ground. The offensive staff just took a collective sigh of relief. But I'd still anticipate that someone's going to pull that ball carrier aside, give him a couple of choice words on the importance of ball security. Oh, he almost had another interception. It'll be second down. Boy, oh boy, Chris, this quarterback is getting way too loose with the football. He's already thrown an interception on the last series, almost has another one here. He's got to start taking better care of the football. 
Not going to be easy here. Backed up a long way to go for a first down. Trying to catch the defense with the draw. And the play goes nowhere. Picked up about a yard, but it'll be fourth down. And the Red Raiders will look to convert here on fourth down. Needs a completion here on fourth down. Finds his man, has the first down. They make the tackle, but he easily gets first down yardage, and the drive keeps going. A new set of downs after that completion. Looking to throw it from the red zone. Caught in the backfield, it's Thorne. Tackle made after the completion. Made the catch, but he was surrounded, Kirk. Not much room to run. They did a really good job that time of leveraging him out in space. I, I thought he might have a chance to be able to shake loose because he is so elusive. But uh, defense, as you said, did a really good job in the open field surrounding him. Just nowhere for him to go to pick up any more positive yards. First and goal. A good chance to chip away at the lead before halftime. Trying to create outside the pocket now. And he runs it into the end zone. Touchdown, Texas Tech. Chris, we're still early in this football game. We're in the second quarter. This is a critical touchdown to get their confidence to believe that they can come back and still win this game. And now the try here for the extra point. The extra point is good, but down by a touchdown, 21-14. Now they get set to kick it away. Fields it inside the five-yard line. And he stopped at the 20, tried to make something happen, but that's good coverage there. And the Rebels offense back out on the field. Forced to punt last time. Trying to add points. Build the lead right here. Pitch made on the left side. And the broken tackle there produces a solid game. Chris, the more we watch these spread offenses attack in today's game, it's not just about the vertical shots with the taller receivers on the outside. Defenses are challenged even more by those smaller slot receivers and their quickness in space. It's incomplete. He was hit as he threw that time. And now third down coming up. Going for his running back. That's reeled in. It's Ramos. They bring him down, but not before he gains first down yardage. Nice find there by the quarterback on third down. One of the most telling stats for me at the end of the game is how you do on third down. Being a good third. And it's picked off. Threw it across his body and paid the price. Look out, he's got some space. Now look at the return after the interception. Sets the offense up in good shape. Boy, just a drive killer right there, Chris. And he didn't seem to throw that ball with much confidence. Just put it up for grabs, and the defense comes down with it. Look at his scramble. He bought some time, now lets it go. Sideline route, but he's out of bounds before the first down marker. Boy, I thought the defender was in really good position here. It's kind of working that receiver to the sideline. I didn't think he had enough room to come down with it. Somehow he comes up with the catch and gets a foot down. Ball sits at the two-yard line for third and goal. Here's the snap. Quarterback looking to throw. Touchdown, Red Raiders. This offense really clicking. And this national championship game is now dead even, Kirk. We're going to have a, a fun finish here. Yeah, I'm, maybe I'm being hopeful, but this has the makings of an instant classic right now. The way these teams are matching each other at an elite level in the national championship, it's getting more advanced the further we go. I'm with you. Maybe it comes down to the wire. And now here comes the point after attempt. And there's the point after. So after the touchdown, here's the kickoff, and we'll see if the opposing offense has time to answer before halftime. Return starts from inside the five. And he's brought down after a solid effort on that return. And the 
powerful Ole Miss offense is back out on the field. The last possession ended in an interception. Let's see if they continue to trust this quarterback in the passing game. Caught over the middle. It's Ramos. And they get him down after the completion. The completion makes it second down. And he'll set up to throw. It's caught. Nice pitch and catch. And they wrap him up, but the gain is good enough for a first down. So the offense looking to be efficient here. Not much time remaining before the end of the half. On first and ten here, looking to throw the ball. And it's incomplete. Just five seconds left on the clock now. Boy, this quarterback is really rolling the dice out here today. Remember, he threw an interception the last time they had the ball. I thought he might learn from that, but instead he comes out throwing it into coverage again. Somehow catches a break on this tip ball that this one was an interception. He better tighten up his decision making. It's going to cost himself a game. And that will do it for the first half here. Kevin Connors now has our halftime update. Chris, thanks. What else might we expect in a game of this magnitude? Everything on the line. The eyes of the sports world on this battle with the coveted gold trophy at stake. These two defenses have really been up to the task so far, and it's hard to ignore how each of these two secondaries have impacted things. They've stayed true to their assignments, covering each receiver like a blanket. And you know what else they've done? They've wrapped up and tackled. The Red Raiders will kick this away to start the second half. He's going to return it from near the goal line. But he's got some space here. Good work by the blockers in that return team. He found the lane. And so this drive's going to begin with good field position. And the Rebels offense is back out on the field. Play action here on first down. And here comes a deep shot. And it's caught way downfield inside the 35. And they stop him, but not before. An explosive play moves the ball all the way to the 32. Completion good for first down yardage for this offense. Out of the shotgun, he hands it off. Stop after a small gain. Now look at it, second and nine. That's just not a whole lot of options here for this quarterback on the RPO. The defense give him credit. They did a nice job of sniffing it out. I wouldn't be surprised if the quarterback is second-guessing that decision of giving it to the back instead of pulling that and either running it himself or maybe making a nice throw. And he's brought down, but not before he gets first down in yardage. And the Rebels come to the line to set a fresh set of downs. Man, some real toughness on display here by the quarterback. Being able to focus with that kind of pressure coming right at him. And that's incomplete, even on a first down pass attempt. He felt heavy pressure. Coming to the line on second down, this is important. They want to avoid a third and long. So here we go, third down. Defense needs a stop here, trying to force a field goal attempt. Dropping back, looking to throw for the first down. Touchdown, Ole Miss. And they will claim the second half lead. I think we're starting to kind of see a theme here, Chris, today. That's his second touchdown. The offensive line doing their job, and he's doing an outstanding job of just reading the defense, finding the hole, and being able to pick up big yards and touchdowns. So they'll try to add to the lead now with the PAT. PAT puts him in front by seven. Kickoff team on the field getting set now. He'll return it from inside the five. And he stopped at the 19. Good job by the coverage team. And the Texas Tech offense trots back out onto the field now. They punch it into the end zone the last time. Let's see if this defense has made some adjustments to stop him this time. Grab down the middle. It's Thorne. Stopped at the 43, but that's enough to make a first down. Defense kind of lost the running back here. Makes a nice catch and gets the first down in the process. This offense is rolling at the moment. It's first down and 10. Trying to extend the play. He lets it go on the move, looking deep. Pass hauled in inside the 15. 
And the tackle is made, but the offense now is set up. First and goal from the nine. Offense racing down the field. It sets up a first and goal inside the ten. Handoff here from the shotgun. The sophomore with a strong tackle there. We'll see if the offense can punch it in on second and goal. Looking to score with a run to the right. Shows off the moves there, but ultimately, not much of a game. Another positive game by this back. I tell you, between the offensive line sustaining blocks and this back's vision and ability to explode into that second level of this defense, this guy is having a monster day in the biggest stage of all in the national championship. And the coach chooses to go for a field goal attempt here. No problem. Knocks it right through. I was watching this guy in pregame. He has got a strong leg. I'm surprised here he's able to put three points up here for the offense. Following the field goal, the kickoff team is out there now. Return are looking to make a play here. He'll be tackled at the 18. That's good coverage there. And the Ole Miss offense is back out on the field. Remember last time they scored a touchdown. Can they keep clicking here? Or the defense come up with a stop? Rolls right, trying to make something happen. He makes the grab. They bring him down, but the drive has now reached the 35. Game moves into the 35, first down again. Well, this is what separates the men from the boys right here. This quarterback knows he's going to get hit, does a good job of staying laser-focused on his target, and as he throws that ball, breaks clear, end zone ahead. They bring him down, but not before a huge game. Moves the ball to the 40-yard line. The offense operating at peak efficiency to come to the line again. On first and ten, they'll look to throw it. Extending the play now. Caught near the goal line. And he takes it into the end zone. Let's check and see what that marker is about. So the touchdown taken off the board by the offensive pass interference penalty. What a huge call in this game. First down play call coming up. How aggressive will it be? He's moving out of the pocket now. Look at this. He'll go deep again. Defense breaks it up. Nice play. Incomplete. You know, they don't hit this downfield, but it gives you an idea of how much pressure this quarterback can put on this defense. They've got to cover all these receivers, worry about the running game, try to pressure the quarterback, and then deal with him when he breaks out and scrambles. Wow, a third pick tonight by the QB. Can he take it all the way? And he's worked out of bounds after an excellent game, but there is a flag on the field. This one might be coming back. Sometimes there's a fine line between being the receiver and the defensive back, and who is actually going to get their hands on the ball. You can't really blame him for this one, because an incompletion will always be more welcome than an interception. Pass is caught right near the sideline. What a catch does get the foot down. Hold on here a second. The replay booth has signaled they want to take another look at this one. And that review confirms the ruling on the field was correct. So the play will stand. Hey. Offense been in reverse here. Now a long way to go to convert this third down. Here's the snap looking to throw. Let's it go on the move, launching deep. That one falls incomplete. They tried to press it deep, but now it brings up fourth down. And the Rebels will have to kick this away. And he'll kick it away now for the second time. And the returner brought down by that coverage team. And the Red Raiders offense is back out on the field now. The last possession, they had to settle for a chip shot field goal. Can they find the end zone this time out? Looking for some space. It's Thorne. 
Well, this defense is going to have to mix up some looks because this back has had a monster day in the national championship. Running inside, running outside, the defense has got to do a good job of locking in on him to negate his big playability. And they tackle him, but not before he picks up the first. I know this defense worked very hard at halftime to come up with answers on how to try to slow down this running back after the big first half, and he's already at it again. And the senior able to make the stop after a short game. The second down after that run on the previous play. Here's the snap. Quarterback drops back. Escapes the pocket. Get some space around the 30. And a big game before he goes out of bounds. The offense keeps churning, gets a fresh set of downs. And the Red Raiders pick up enough to get a first down there. Short throw to the back, caught behind the line of scrimmage. Hey, it's a game, but you get the sense that this offense wanted a little bit more from that play. Important second down play coming up. Hand it off for a draw. And the runner brought down right at the 38-yard line. Boy, draws and screens are a great way to counter an effective pass rush. Allow those defensive ends to get upfield and then hand it off at the last second. That run sets up an important third down call for this offense. They'll try to move the chains here on the ground. He has first down yardage at the 46. You know, offensive linemen are just a certain breed. They're always going to do their job, no matter who's back there carrying the ball. Tell you what, they have a little bit more confidence when the person that's carrying the ball can break off some big-time runs. That makes them block just a little bit harder knowing what he's potentially capable of doing. Offense sets up for play number eight on this drive. They'll try and run it. Here's the running back. And the tackle is made in what's going to be the final play of this period. And Kirk, it's Ole Miss on top. We've reached the end of the third quarter in this national championship battle that has lived up to the hype. Before the final period, let's check out the game stats. Pretty good chance it's going to come down to the final possession. Which guy can step up and make plays as we head to the fourth quarter? The Red Raiders lining up here on first and ten. He hands it off from the gun. It's good for a three-yard gain, so second and seven. Hat on a hat up front. Good job of opening up the holes. Anytime you can get positive yards on first down, that's a win. Defense cannot get this offense to fourth down. Offense continues the long drive. As the first down is still going. He'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Boy, this back is having some kind of game today. He just continues to pile up the yardage. That puts him over 150 yards now, and this defense has no real answers in trying to keep him contained. And they'll bring him down after just a short pickup. What's the play call here on second down for this offense? And the ball is handed off out of the shotgun. Not much on that play, brought down short. Offense now operating in the red zone, facing a third and short from the 20. Using the ground game here, tailback has the handoff. Only gets a couple of yards there. It'll bring up fourth down. How about that, Chris? They run the football here on third down, almost pick up the first down. What it does, though, is it gives them a much better chance if they decide to go for this and picking up that first down. He's got some room. Can he get there? And he muscled out of bounds very close to the goal line. It's first and goal. Can they punch it in and take the lead? They'll try to run this one in. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. Well, it is tough to run the football inside this five-yard line. Give all the credit to that defensive line. Eating up those linemen, allowing the rest of the defense to fly to the football for that short loss. Another handoff to him on second and goal. Couldn't quite get there. Brought down at the two. Well, they're getting a little bit closer. That's some good positive yards there. But now it's third and goal. I mean, this is what it all comes down to. You're playing in the national championship. Think of the journey that these two teams have been on. Chris, this is what we hope to see, and it's playing out. 
talking about quickness, that play is absolutely blown up in no time. Chris, I don't know if that's a misassignment by the offensive lineman or just touchdown, Texas Tech. And they claim the lead here in the final quarter. Boy, just a great job here by the offensive line and the running back to be able to get this ball into the end zone late in the game like this, now in the fourth quarter to give them the lead. An important PAT now to make this a three-point game. And the kick is good. A three-point game now in the fourth quarter. It's all up to the defense. Here's the kickoff team now. Set to boot this one away. And he fields it inside the 15. And they get him to the ground at the 30. That's where the drive will start. And the Ole Miss offense is back out on the field. First down, looking to throw the football. Looks like he's going to run it. Gets into space at the 50. It's a big gain all the way to enemy territory, tackled at the 45. First down and 10. How many times have we seen this late in the fourth quarter? Because you know the pass rush is going to get after him. They get upfield, they get a great pass rush. What do they create? Space and running lanes. And he takes off and picks up some nice yards. Tackle is finally made, but not before. It's a huge game down to the 25. Big chunk play. This offense operating at peak efficiency. Running out of time in the pocket. Got him. He's sacked. I like the call here, but you can't run long, developing play-action passes like that if the offensive line is not going to give the quarterback time to throw. Look at a pass here on second down. Tried to go very deep there. Good effort. And now it's third down. Love this aggressive mindset from the quarterback and offensive coordinator. Found the matchup that you wanted. Take a shot downfield. You don't hit it, but you made the defense be aware of it. Defense stops him short of the marker. So now it's fourth down. So now we're going to have a crucial field goal attempt coming up. The kick is good. He knocked it right down the middle. And the game now tied here in the final quarter. on the drive and now the kickoff team will boot it away and he takes this from inside the five he'll be tackled at the 18 that's good coverage there and the Texas Tech offense is back out on the field now the last drive the ground game was so successful ended in a touchdown we'll see if the defense can respond to it this time they tackle him behind the line a loss of four well, if somebody talks about a play being blown up, this is a great example of that. That's exhibit A for how to be physical on defense. He's going to pull it down and run. This defense is so caught up in defending this pass game. I think here they just completely forgot about this guy's ability to run the football. Good, solid gain, and he gets out of bounds. And third and short to try to pick it up on the ground. Tackled, but first down. It was a nice job up front by the offensive line to give the running back an assist for setting those blocks up before he was able to get downfield for the first down. No run it. Handed off to the running back. Tackled behind the line. It's a loss of two. I think we all kind of get caught up in third down. What, what's an offense doing on third down? But I think what's also important is how well you defend first down. If you can hold your opponents to a short gain or a tackle for a loss, you throw the offense out of whack, and their game plan gets much more challenging to try to come up with that first down. And that's the two-minute warning here as we set up for a close, dramatic finish to this one. They'll keep it on the ground with the draw play. Great cut there. 
They make the stop, but not before a solid gain that time. Boy, how about that play, Chris? That thing just opened up the back shot through there with great acceleration. What a pickup there on first down. Quarterback escapes the pocket and takes off. And it lands out of bounds, but a good job there to avoid the sack and just throw it away. So after the incompletion, it's second down. From the shotgun, drops back. Quarterback escapes the pocket. Seven-yard game sets up a third and three. Now this is the eighth play on this drive. Little eye candy here from the offense, some pre-snap motion. From third and short, they hand the ball off. Moves the football to the 30, good enough for a first down. Just what a great battle here at the line of scrimmage. Good push by the offensive line, and the back does enough to be able to pick up the first down. And they'll run it out of the shotgun. Hey, it's a great job of this defense containing the running game. But if I'm calling the plays, I'm not abandoning the running game just yet. I think it's important to have some sense of balance. So throwing and running is essential. Stick with it. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. Well, it all really comes down to this right now, Chris. You know, you're already in field goal range. You have a chance to maybe work a little bit closer. But let's face it, this defense, they're shooting those gaps. They're trying to come up with a loss of yardage, maybe trying to rip the ball out. Offense has to be incredibly smart with their play call and make sure you align that kicker where he's very comfortable to potentially hitting this game-winning field goal. Knocks that one right down the middle. And it's celebration time on the sideline there as they've taken the lead in the final seconds. How about that clutch kick here for the kicker? Gives him the lead, but remember, there's still time up on the clock. This game is not over just yet. So after coming away with three in that drive, the kickoff team is out. And with time a factor here late in the game, he'll just take a knee and they'll start the drive at the 25. And the Rebels offense is back out on the field. They've got some time to work with. Do they go for a touchdown here or play it more conservatively and set up for a field goal try? And this is dropped. Would have been a huge game, but he could not collect it. Offense will need some big plays to get into field goal range. The clock, a huge factor here. He's moving out of the pocket. And now in the final couple minutes, here's a deep shot. And a big gain moves the ball across midfield all the way. And the offense will spend a timeout, stopping the clock with 22 seconds remaining. Big guys up front, lined up. It's first down. From the gun, he looks for an open man. And he's going to launch it deep again. And the pass is dropped. Would have been a big game, but he couldn't hold on. Offense getting set. It's second down. And the quarterback drops back, looking for an open man. Using his legs here. In the clear at the 25. And he'll scramble for a first down and importantly get out of bounds to stop the clock. That's a smart play. The Rebels come to the line to set a fresh set of downs. Out of the shotgun, he'll hand it off. They get him down, but that's a... Now a timeout is taken with just five seconds remaining. So out comes the field goal unit, one of the biggest moments in this kicker's life. And that is no good. A missed chance to tie this game. Still down by three. So the job is simple here. Just take a knee, run out the clock, and begin the celebration. That's it. It's official. We have our national champions.
They're the last team standing in the top of the mountain, Kirk, national champions. Well, it's been so much fun to watch this team play all year long. They've had some challenging moments. They've been able to overcome them. And how fitting, a close game in the national championship. They come through one more time. And as you say, they hold the trophy. They are the national champions of the year. Well, that's going to do it for us and wrap up another outstanding season of college football. For Kirk Herbstreet, I'm Chris Fowler. This has been a presentation of EA Sports College Football. They are official your kings of college football and national champions, the Texas Tech Red Raiders.